been a long day very good hey everyone <laughs> welcome to that pedal show dan here mick here hello um, <laughs> it was all going so you know what it needs more wobble okay yeah, yeah. Throwing that well, it's that kind of, I'm, let's start with a tangent it's a new-ish guitar and i'm just kind of bedding it in and mm. it's just getting used to the setup and tweaking here and tweaking there it's still not quite sitting right and so um not moaning just saying just getting used to it i think it sounds amazing it though. does sound nice um i am struggling a bit with tuning but hey 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 hey, hey. indeed so <laughs> today we're looking at some modulation pedals and how they work in a band context uh but first some housekeeping indeed thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and also a massive thank you to anyone that's gone to thatpedalshowstore.com and grab some merch. The white area is for loading and unloading only. In the yellow. <laughs> um, yes, please do. Go to thatpedalshowstore.com for merch, uh, thatpedalshop.com in the US for pedals. Indeed. Uh, and yeah, thanks for doing all of those things. Yes, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Right, let's jump in. Yeah, so if you want a deep dive on any one of these modulations, we've done it sometime in the past, be it harmonic tremolo or regular amplitude tremolo or um, vibe or vibrato or chorus or phaser all the things that we call modulation effects why dan uh, so why we call the modulation effects is because something is modulating be it the time be it the phase um yeah but we're take we're taking a signal and we're modulating or moving it around yeah and we love them. Uh, the we question do. we get asked a lot is, but how do you use it in any sort of musical context? And that's what we're here to sort of discuss today. Even though it's just bass, guitar and drums, it just moves us on a little bit from only two guitars sat here uh, without any accompaniment at all. Indeed. Why don't we jump in? Um, let's have a look at... Let's, let's grab the oldest pedal on the board, Yeah. which is the original first issue of the MXR Phase 90. Yeah, so this isn't every modulation pedal that's ever existed. Dan's chosen three uh, as his faves, and I've chosen two, and we're going to have a, a little whip through those. So what have you got? You've got Phaser. I've got a Phaser. Flanger. Flanger and, and Vibrato. Which also equals Chorus, as we'll find indeed, out. Indeed. And I've gone for um, Harmonic Tremolo, Tremolo, and uh, Vibe. So two and a half. Very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Phaser, sorry, Dan, you were No, 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 very good. So a couple of really simple things that I'll, I will attempt to do on the jam. Um, one, with the Phase 90 set basically just past uh, 12 o'clock, um, we get, so amps today, we've got the Two Rock and we have the Deluxe Reverb, both in unison, sounds like this. Throw the phaser in front of that. It's a very, very, very cool sound. I have one thing to say. Yes. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> One! Uh, yeah, it's so fun. I mean, it's been used in all kinds of music, but it's certainly a funky thing. It is. Wonderful. One knob, just the speed on the Phase 90. So, you know, the, the cleaner type sounds, I love that setting, but also for the rock stuff, I love the Phaser set like this. 
Oh, nice. All the way to the, to the slower speed possible. Now, what I'll also do when I set the phaser like this is I'm actually going to change the position of the signal path. So I'm going to take the, not at the moment, the phaser is after the overdrives. Yep. When I start rocking out and I turn the phaser all the way down that way, I'm going to put the phaser in front of the overdrives. Before the overdrives. Right. Okay. So I'll give you a listen to how that sounds. So this is, um, I'll stick the DNM drive on and then we'll hear the phaser after it. And then I'm going to switch the phaser before. Drop okay. both sides of the DNM drive down. Uh, yes, please. So again, it's that classic gang structure thing, right? So was it was the second sound with the phaser first? Exactly. Oh man, much prefer it. Much, much prefer, prefer it. it. Think about think about what Eddie did. That's the, Edward Van Halen, by the way. Exactly. Amps cranked. Uh, phaser going into the cranked amps. It's not a full honk. It's a it's a it's a because I said hello to him once. That'll do. That's not a honk. It okay. wasn't. It wasn't a me. Right. You don't have a number. All right. Yeah. He said hello back, so I don't think that qualifies as a <laughs> conversation. A honk in my book. No, 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 no. I've got T-shirts written up of I've met this person with less information <laughs> than that. Uh, right. So, if you think about what um, Eddie Van Halen did, he had the Marshalls cranked and the phaser going into the cranked Marshalls. Right. It's basically the same sort of thing we're doing. We're putting the phaser in front of the that before the clipping gain yeah. stage and it just ends up being a fatter fuller sound and with the speed all the way down you just get this really slow movement it, it tightens up a little bit of bottom end and for that solo thing uh, it just sounds flippant ace so nice so that's the phaser and we've done deep dives in this stuff before as mick said so if you're more interested in that stuff head back um the flanger is uh, such a wonderful sounding thing. It's much closer than the classic chorus. It's a yeah. tighter delay sound and you get this. Sound of ages. It is. It's wonderful. It is the sound of ages. And I generally, if I'm after a that eighty sort of chorus effect, I'll pref I prefer to use a flanger yeah. than a standard chorus. For me, um, there's something about even with it, like the more extreme settings of it. It just for me, it just sits so well. Yep. Um, You've always loved it. I've you? always I've always loved it. And it's likewise, you like that before drive as well. I do. Yeah. yeah, I do. Is so, that how we'll hear it today? Yeah, so, I mean, again... So the thing with the flange after, you get that massive flangey thing and it sounds great. With the flange before, 
It's more subtle. It gets tamed a bit. It by, does get by tamed the, a bit. By the overdrive. Exactly, because yeah, yeah. the overdrive is clipping all those lovely edges that are giving us that flange sound. So, you know, generally, for, if I wanted the big flange sound, it'll go after. Yep. You know. Um, yeah, so that's the flange. And then finally for me, we have the vibrato. Uh, this is uh, my favourite vibrato ever, diamond vibrato. Glorious thing. Now, I use this generally in a wet dry scenario so i'll show what that's i'll show what that's like in a second but basically what the vibrato is doing is it takes our sound and it's just modulating it up and down in in pitch and it does this by uh going through a delay chip and modulating that delay time yeah so with the vibrato on just by itself <laughs> So that's the vibrato going into both amps. Yeah. Right? But now, if I just send the vibrato into uh, the two rock. And that is basically how a chorus works. That is chorus. That's real chorus. So exactly. So vibrato mixed with the dry sound. So what I really love about the diamond is that the wave form isn't, like the wave of the modulation isn't strictly linear. You know? Symmetrical. It's oh, not all, all over the place. It's all over the place. It, well, it's not all over the place. It's a repeating pattern, but it's it's really, really It's cool. asymmetrical. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, I guess, I don't know if we'll hear it today, but for those of you who don't want to use your vibrato as a chorus, you can ramp the speed up and do that kind of yeah. wobbly John Schofieldy type thing. Totally. <laughs> that's a, you know that's a really cheesy version of it but that's how that sounded um your mate who you had the guitar lesson with uh mike stern, mike stern. did he use that Is, was his thing I, vibrato or was his chorus i think his chorus generally yeah uh, but he's got racks of all the right the, you know the big yeah yeah uh like 80s vibe um yeah okay let's jump into that jam and <laughs> see how i get on <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> and we're back in the room. Um, whoa, man. <laughs> whoa, man. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, so we don't know what's going to happen. No, but I right. was sensational. <laughs> Mine are... Oh, you were sensational. You're always sensational, oh, Dan. Let's, stop it. Let's be honest. Stop it. You know. Uh, so <laughs> mine are two tremolos and one vibe. Now, let's start with vibe. Not to be confused with vibrato, although does have a common cousin in chorus. But it's actually a phaser. <laughs> Very good. You like that? Very good. So here we go. That's extraordinary. It's not only Jimi Hendrix. No. It sounds really good on clean parts as well. I'll try yeah. and do some of that in the jam. So vibe we know about. Um, the thing I was manipulating off the screen is um, an expression pedal to control the speed. And annoyingly, the lead isn't long enough to hit the floor. So I still can't do it with my foot. <laughs> um, normally you'd see them together. And then tremolo. So I'm using the Harmonious Monk. This is mine and Dan's tremolo pedal. And it does two things. One is hard, one is uh, harmonic tremolo, which is a little bit similar to vibe as it goes um, in texture. It's not it's not achieved the same way. Yeah. But it's um, it sometimes it can it can sound soupy in that way. As a farmer said to me once, oh, he loves it. <laughs> Sorry, it's late in the afternoon. Uh, and then <laughs> a switch on the Harmonious Monk enables you to go from harmonic mode to normal amplitude tremolo, right? So amplitude tremolo. Mm -hmm. So this is just turning the volume up and down. Uh, and again, we've covered this in many previous videos. The trem there, that vibe is totally gone. That's amazing. Oh, hang on, was the vibe still on? No, no. Without the vibe of the music. Oh, I see. Sorry. The vibe <laughs> of the playing. I thought I thought I'd managed to leave. No, the vibe no, on. no. Um, but, but that it's such a big part of that. Yeah. Well, it sound. You could, uh, apart from natural reverbs and and um, echoes and stuff, it was the first guitar effect, really. Right. And uh, existed in a bunch of early stuff. Um, and it, you, if you listen to some of those old 50s recordings, you'll hear tremolo in m many more places than you would think. The old diamond um, tremolo. Yeah. Yeah, the but, oil can tremolo. And Bo Diddley, you hear it a lot there. So that's one way to use it. Slower, obviously, um, for more atmospherics. <laughs> And to add to that whole vibe, we've got it both um, wet-dry and dual-mono. So dual-mono 
in this instance meaning it hits both amps. Wet dry in this instance meaning that it only hits the two rock. Mm -hmm. So it, I'll just play and Dan, if you switch between. Very it's powerful. a whole different sense of movement when mm. you go wet dry. And again, we'll try and do that in the jams um, to give you an idea of how it sits with bass and drums. You ready to rock? Uh, I am. I'm a bit tired, actually, Dan, if I'm honest. <laughs> well, come on, Sunshine. It's been a long it's day. It's time to rock. I know. In which case, I'll wake up. Let's rock.
back in the room. That was amazing. I'm hot. Yeah, you you are on fire, is what that is. <laughs> you too, mate. Um, okay, so I hope that was useful. Uh, it is, no excuses, it is quite difficult trying to <laughs> remember that we're supposed to be showing sounds and remembering what to play and try and concentrate ah. on, on what everyone else is playing too. But no excuses, no excuses. It is what it is. Get in a room, make some noise. Um, uh, observations, Dan? I mean, the, the, for me, the phaser is just... It's spectacular. It, it is the sound of so many ages. Mm. And if you think, you know, um, maybe not that particular phaser, but we hear phaser from everyone, from Ernie Isley to Van Halen to, you know, all yeah, well, that's such the, a wide span That is the Van Halen music. phaser, David Gilmour phaser. I mean, you know, they've yeah, used yeah, a lot yeah. of different things. But yeah, the phaser is amazing. I love the wet-dry vibrato the um, harmonic trim is, as always, just so luscious. But there's something with the vibe when you the, the solo stuff at the end. And the vibe, it just it really does cut. It's different. It really is. It's it's a, it's a different thing. There are there are times when you can definitely set them to sound to cover similar ground. Yeah. But when the vibe's doing its vibe thing and the harmonic trim's doing its harmonic trim thing, they are quite distinct aren't indeed they? not indeed. least in the way they create their effects and you can watch old videos uh to get the skinny on that indeed no it's loads of fun uh doug favorite pedal blue obviously blue. the, the blue one back to blue that's the harmonious back one to blue. Well done, hey, yeah <laughs> well, done. <laughs> well done um we didn't use the octane three today uh because it doesn't work we put it on there we promised somebody we put it on there and unfortunately it's got a problem so that's why we didn't use it yeah the foot switch is a bit (laughs) iffy so i'll I'll swap that out but anyway thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed that hope it was at least somewhat helpful uh it was loads of fun um again a massive thank you to anyone that's gone to thatpedalshowstore.com and grabbed some t-shirts and merchandise and hats and pedals and all the stuff. All that kind of stuff, yeah. So for your merch, for your T-shirts, roll up, roll up, uh, go to thatpedalshowstore.com. If you're in the USA and you want to buy some actual pedals from all kinds of people, uh, go to thatpedalshop.com. Fabulous. Good. A massive thank you. <clears throat> oh, it's been a long day. A massive thank you to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. Also, a massive thank you to our preferred retailers uh, in the UK and Europe. Anderton's Music of Guildford in Surrey. Indeed, and our dear friends in Australia. Pedal Empire of Brisbane, Queensland. Fabulous. Nice. Uh, Yes, and finally, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. That'd be great. Thank you so much. We'll (laughs) see you for viewers, comments and questions on Monday where we can talk about all your favourite modulation pedals. Fabulous. Bye. Bye.